Morgan is the one that many people think of as the most long-lived, the most powerful, the most serious of, of the wines of Beaujolais and of the Beaujolais crew, particularly in this area down south at the bottom of this uh, picture you can see here of Cote de Pie. These wines are, yes, they are uh, complex. They can be big bone. They can be fairly tannic. But I think complexity and longevity is more their hallmark, more what, what separates them one from another. Aside from the fact that you see quite a bit of this uh, of, of this gore, of this pink granite, there's also a lot of crumbly schist through there, and it seems to add something slightly different to the wines. You know, Morgan uh, has been as well one of my, my favorite when you want to have a Beaujolais with a little bit more character. That's the smell I was referring to. I mean, it just puts a big smile on my face, and um, I appreciate it so much. And if I had to define it, it's... Uh, intensely fruity, but not at all with the stigma of, you know, bubble gum or carbonic maceration or any of that. This is just great quality fruit. It smells like red and black raspberries to me, just pure, pure, and just perfectly ripe, not overripe. And, you know, it makes me want to taste it. And right on the heels of that chest, other waves, which I don't even want to define because I'm enjoying it so much, but maybe some, a little bit of earth or dried herb, something like that. But it's a glorious expression of Gamay that does not speak to how it's made. But you know, Morgon is one of those crews that ages really well. The complexity and the fruit and all of that over time is going to soften down and become more elegant. It is one of my favorite crews.